Today, we're gonna to talk about if you need a passport for a cruise, but stay tuned. This is a three-part video series. We are also going to talk about why you should cruise with a passport and what happens if you don't. Little legal disclaimer here, there's no one solid rule that applies to every single cruise, whether you need a passport or not. So we're just gonna talk about some of the standard cruises. But my advice to you is always check with your travel professional, your cruise line, the US Department of State, and pay very, very close attention to those cruises when there might be a one-off circumstance when you would need a passport. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not the cruise line you're on, but if you are planning a cruise with me and you have questions about your specific cruise, we can address that. Do you need a passport to cruise? The answer is no, not all the time, but in, in some situations you do. So when can you cruise without a passport? If you're a US citizen and you're departing from the same US port of call and returning to that same US port of call again, it's called a closed loop itinerary. Typically, you don't need a passport for that cruise. Don't forget, if you're cruising without a passport, you are going to need your original state issued birth certificate, no photocopies, and you're going to need a driver's license as well for adults. So you can see where those Caribbean, Bahamian cruises, those short cruises, you may not be required to have a passport on a lot of those itineraries. However, if your cruise starts and ends in a different port of call, you will need a passport for that cruise. Sometimes this is beyond your control. Maybe it's weather related. Maybe there's a hurricane. Um, maybe the ships run aground and you have to return home on a plane instead of on that ship. Yeah, I know that sounds a little crazy, but it has happened. There can also be exceptions if you're traveling with children. Sometimes on some of the cruise lines like Princess, Holland America, and some others, if you're sailing with children, they do require the adults to have a passport. So make sure you review those terms very carefully. There are a few cruise ports that you visit that if you visit these cruise ports, you will be required to have a passport on your cruise. Those cruise ports are Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, or Greenland. And there may always be others. So always double check your specific itinerary and those cruise requirements. I always recommend cruising with a passport even though they're not always required for all the cruises. And we're going to talk about that in a future episode, so stay tuned. If you've learned something today, if you like our videos, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear from you if you have other questions that I could answer on video. And if you would like planning assistance for your next cruise, look me up. My name is Melissa, and you'll find me at pixiedustadventures.com. Thanks for watching, bye.